Good day, everybody. Hunts here, and welcome back to our Endless Space 2 walkthrough Let's Play gameplay. We are playing the Supremacy Update and playing as the He Show. So sit back, relax, grab your smack, your smack, your snack, and don't forget to yell at your screen. We just got threatened by the Vaulters. Vaulters insist that you move your fleets that trespass in their territory. Ah, uh, no. We refuse. Looking at strength, I there. trust you no more than I would trust a clan merchant selling Kasai. Our anger has faded. We relent. Minus twenty five percent cost to close borders on Huntsman for ten turns. Minus five percent approval on all systems. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, they do not like us at the moment, which is fine. Heading to the pirate fleet because we do have a mission. Stream composites will be up very soon, which means upgrade to the Hawks. Ooh, Sharagon, yeah, we're really pushing them out. So what's their strength at? They're down to 576. So at six oh wow. Okay, looking at strength. The only ones that we have to fear are the again uh, I oh actually alright, there's a lot. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Ooh, antimatter. Check or evolve. Let's see, we do have titanium coming everywhere. Hey, I meant him, not titanium. There are some pirates located throughout the galaxy, which will be a pain in our tuchus later on. But for now, it's not the worst thing possible. Right, what should do we still have that can be moved? Oh, it's our explorer. So there's nothing to pop. So let's, let's go to Dorpinia and see if we can send out a probe in this direction. I wonder if there's something out here. Well, actually, there has to be because we get a pirate location beacon up this end. That means there has to be some kind of constellation close by. I think I'll go to Caius, actually, to pop it out. Because if we look at this, there's us here. The Earthlings, human, the Night Empire. There is the Unfallen down here. So that means we have... Um, the Vardani, Vardani system somewhere. There's Epsilon. Uh, let's see. Alright, so we're missing the Ganai, the Lumeris, excuse me, I keep messing up the names, the Lumeris home system, the Volta's home system, the uh, Vardani's home system, and I'm blanking on the name now, crap, Epsilon, Some things in this cosmos the Rickborn AI, uh, homeworld. We're missing those systems home world, so they have to be in this quadrant. It's the only thing that makes sense. We still don't even know where the Unfallen's home system is. Definitely making assumptions down here. Or in this arm of the galaxy. So, but we will find out pretty soon. Sending food out. As we noticed, our systems are kind of a food deprived at the moment, but that is changing. That is changing, which is a good thing, because we need some food. So I'm asking in terms of culture. We have the silver is fine. Draco Evolve basically built all the goods that they can have. So we're currently doing military propaganda just to boost the military arm. And plus 20% per turn of manpower. We could always go to ancestral rights, but by doing that, that's not good. Ancestral rights means we lose all of our food. We need food because we need to grow. We need to get to max system. So we're not going to do that just yet. We're getting the vaulted governance, and we're going to get magnetic field. No, we don't want a hawk just yet. But we most likely will go intrinsic care because 10% more food for luxury deposits, so we get one. 
And then extra 10% food now does cost 8 gold. So it's 8 dust a turn. We are producing uh, 142. So that's that's not terrible. That's not terrible. And we are filled up on population. Yep. So we have, of course, all the Caligars on our home system. We have no... Ah. Let's change that. Like, we have no Hishu on our home system. No, we want at least one population of Hishu on our home system. We're saving our key to colonize. Because, let's see. Zynus. It's not even close and it takes already 42 key. And then we have, of course, Uslo. Which has all... That's at 49, so... Gonna be a little bit. Especially with food trying to get to that system. Not even started yet. It's just coming. But it's getting taken out because the Octans was held by the pirates. Which hopefully will change pretty soon. We're slowly gaining our manpower. Gain some 120 influence a turn now. That's nice. Ah, cool. Okay, so we can start colonies in lava. Which will be useful because we do have a few lava planets. So we got AI labor. Going to be the next research. But we did get the upgraded hull for our hawks. You're which will be helpful. Of the galaxy. Salute. Good. Okay. Battle at Octans. Alright, so the pirates create a fleet. That is a okay. Oh wow, look how big this ship is. Oh, it's three people going to Silo Cat. So we don't need to watch this, this will be a a slaughter. Even though it's the economy dreadnought and a dreadnought behemoth. That's still fine. He show growth. Empire Development 4. So movement bonus plus one movement points on civilian ships. That's good. And promote diversity. Be the First to pass a law from each of the six political parties from the beginning of the game. What is six? Rank seven out of seven. Oh. We can get a hero. Uh, law from each of the six political parties. Yeah, that's impossible. For us, at least. So we're not really pulling the political branch. Okay, so this is who? Pink wave? Yep. So both. Looks like we're going both on her. Or him. Her? Him? Can't tell from this position. Eh, but, yeah, we're going both. Both governor and an admiral. Now, we definitely know Gamers Therapy. That looks like a female he show? Pure governor, though. Pure governor. So we have more influence, and that will unlock our behemoth on the next level up. That's good, and even more influence. We might be able to pass our next lock. Ah, 183 influence a turn. This will cost us, but that is a lot of extra production. Uh, it can't run that that long, though. That will give us production to begin with. We do have some stored up, but we do need some for peace as well. Vault a governor, so plus 50% experience on heroes. That's good. Oh, Dwarvian built the Denerick University. Good. That should mean, yeah, Dwarvian's production, dust, everything just went up like crazy. Which is good. Which is very good. Now, 142 food to turn. And it's saying now food to other plants. So, whew. It's growing. It's growing. And we gain a lot more manpower per system. So, the impervious bunkers and tactile ornaments will help. Because that will increase our manpower by a lot.
So we could do Sun God. But no. We're going to get enough food. I'm going to get even more food with these two ideologies. And we do get a lot of influence a turn. Because, again, the Denmark University does give us influence. Ooh, we could get more if we get the... Pop details. Yeah. With nine red saying, we can get the elo up even more. But we do want to save the red saying. System development too. Wait, we're not getting any a turn? What? No, we should be getting something a turn. Do you have a pirate? Do you have a fleet blocking blockade? We do have a fleet blocking Calidor. Oh, okay. The fleet's blockading, you cannot send resources out. Close to that fight. So who can we send a message to? Ah! This contact is unwelcome. Remove For what fleet. reason do you... It You're weak. Super weak. Good. Ooh, someone sent a probe. We have a falcon around the home system. Oh, we did get the new ships. So the hawks can be upgraded. Yeah, this is going to be nice. Why do we still have... Oh, because they're cheap. Like, why do we still have those things? Because they are cheap. See. Oh wow, we just have shields on these guys. Oh, we can do a support. That's good. Energy damage, yes please. And then... Go long range. Long range. And extra just damage damage. So let's see, that does fifty-eight thirty-one. Crew killed per hit. Oh, this is just straight damage. And a lot of crit. Yeah. Alright. So we'll leave that as is. But it doesn't move six a turn. Well, if we have this, they go what? Ten a turn? Eh, no, six turns is good. They're big damage dealers. Ah, but our Peregrine, that is who we do want to upgrade. We should be able to? Yeah. Eight movement turn. It'll leave that. Leave our probe. So yeah, they'll move eight a turn now. Of course our brood ship. Such a cool ship. It's already moving pretty, pretty quickly. That's weird that you could just take this off, like... What would you use this for, then? Oh, I guess it could be an invasion ship. But it's a colonizer, so... Well, it's fast, so if you have this... I mean, it only has 90 manpower. Oh, that's... blah. Always fun to experiment with ships. They're moving. It's moving out. Our behemoth. 
nice, and we can do quite a few fights. Unknown Empire or the Sharagon? Ah! Unknown. That's the pirates. Bloodbath. Bloodbath. Destroy the pi all the pirate fleet, so six of eight. We should be, what, number one in this? Yeah. Congratulations, we destroyed three out of six. And we're ranked number one, so yay. It reach Avura in less than ten turns to intercept the evil guys. Gravitation research. Cool. And then we got to... Oh, that is beautiful. We got to get an obliterator, so e. That might be a little bit in the future. So that's a lot of manpower. Oh, from Fleet Systems, we built manpower. Thanks. Ooh, ELO population screen. What does that give them? Ten. Religious goes up. Oh, eh, eh that's fine. Ooh, they want a troops. You attacked us. Let's refuse that truce. Ah. Uh, so, refusing for this truce will cost 600 influence. While accepting, it will make the defeated civilization pay tribute of 150, 145 dust a turn for 15 turns. Ah, uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll actually accept that. Because this does allow us to get us or them up. Five hundred to five hundred. E. Now you want to keep damaging them. They have a lot of manpower. A lot of manpower. And we're no longer at war, so that's good. That is actually good for a little bit. Chrono side, you've colonized all the planets, so yay. That's good. Now. Uh, project, production, production up. They're going to Zanus. Takes you a little bit. By little, I mean a lot. They should be going to Crane. Oh, we, ooh, we got here. Good. So, the Living Plague. It is good seeing you move, seeing you move quickly, as it seems the hostiles are about to leak. Leave and seek new prey. So we got the gravitational research. We're at max key. Defeat. Ooh, we get pirate lasers. Ah! Oh. I mean, that does save. Uh, you know, that actually might be a good thing. Battle. They got a jaw. Uh, we'll look at this in a second. So there's a big fight going on. A big fight. But let's see. That gave us... Yeah, we're max key right now. Which is okay. But... So it's good, but it's also bad. And why is it bad? Well... It's... So you're doing 117 production a turn. You know what? Actually, it would be good to get this. It's bad because if you get more key, that means it goes to waste. So you don't want to always be at max. Or if you are at max, be able to spend some of it. So it'll give us extra production. On corner side, which should help. Over time, should help. So I sure you get that. Now we have a fight. Oh no, we have uh, people. Oh, a hawk's being built at Silocat. No. Ah, fine, you know, we'll, we'll build that hawk. We'll build that hawk. Oh, we did get Gravit Graviton Shields. Oh, yes. Actually, let's get that up. And then civilian emergency centers.
this is not needed. You can't colonize that just yet, so you don't need to pop this. This will give us a lot of science, which we need at this point of the game. Ooh, industrial zone does give us a lot of production. But it's still, which gives us a lot of dust. Um, dust system, dust system, dust system. Yes, please, give us some dust. More dust. Now, let's get the signs up. Okay. Fight time. Fight time. But we will actually go to advance. Because how our ships are laid out, we want... Since they have all their people in the middle. We do want to have a lot of our attackers in the middle as well to do all the damage. And we'll watch this pirate fight, even though it should be pretty simple. That's a, those are cool looking ships. Yeah, we got a lot of ships in our main battle formation, with only two in the other one. Uh, looks like they split up their fleet as well. Which is good, because we can focus all of our attack power on the their heavy ship at the moment. Yep, there goes the pirate ships. Not bad. We took some damage on our support ships, that, but not much at all. Ooh, look at that planet below. We fought over a planet. That's pretty cool. Decisive victory. Got some key, see? And we're back to 100. And we got pirate lasers. This threat at least has been taken care of. Your empire expands, you have gained goodwill, and one more threat to the galaxy, at least your domin domin uh, domination of it has been dealt with. So we're back to 100 key. Oh! know, Empire is a military behemoth. Okay. I see you, dog. You had 6,000, 2,000. What's our military at? He's at 5,000, 2,000. So, e. Wait, how can he not move? Oh! So, you have an end of turn. Got it. Ooh, another fight with other pirates. This we don't have to watch. Oh, but we are going to be using key. Ah. So, Dwarven, you're not specialized at all, which is good. So, we're going to switch you to Fealty Center, which does give you plus one fids for everything per person. Which uses, of course, 75 key. Takes one turn, but that will shoot up all your production, goods, and dust as well. And I think the next level does give you plus two each. So it's much better than... That's actually one of the best... That's actually really good specialization. Does cost a lot of key, though. Ah, food is finally going to the different locations. I mean, it's getting a lot of population a turn. We don't want the ELO on this planet, though. We do want them spread out because of the influence. Ooh, 
Ah, this fight, which we can do now. Don't need to watch. Ah. And we did it. We got 500 manpower for free. Yay. We got five key. So, yeah. We got specialized heavy fighters and specialized light bombers. Uh, no one else participated in this? Did we just take out all six by ourselves? No, that couldn't have been. That could not have been. But hey, we destroyed the pirates. Now that the dust has settled and the cheering is over, it's time to figure out how the pirates got their hands on such advanced technology. There is a mystery there, and to prevent another pirate incursion, it has to be solved. Well, we got some super fighters. Ah, the power behind the drones. Ooh, the Marvel Skunk Works. Plus 200 initial XP on ships on fleets, and plus 20% buyout. That'll be a once per empire. That will be very useful. Find the Marvels who are building the pirate fighter bomber technology. Search the indicated curiosity Elma 1 on the planet with a hundred of antimatter. But hurry, it's winner take all. What is Elma? Oh. We have zero antimatter. Can we buy any antimatter on the market? No, because we've not unlocked any of the technology for that. Great! Grand. Wonderful. Beautiful. Fan freaking tastic. Wow. That's gas planets. Interesting. Beautiful symmetry on a gas planet? Question mark? Okay, I guess. We did get a lot of bites in. Now we're looking for the skunk works. Uh, Holium has antimatter, which will be useful. Octans might too as well, so we're not gonna. We're not sure. And turn. Ah, we can now colonize lava planets, which will be very useful. Ah, uh, survival suits, good. Gives us better shield technology. Uh, a lot of production. That's gonna be a lot of production coming out from hot planets. System improvement. That's fine. And then colonize lava. Do you really wish to push us to the breaking point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vagrant, you've leveled up. Cool. And you are a you're a fighter. That's not useful for you. I guess... Yeah, I guess we have to go cause a uh, castaway. Yep, looks like we did. We know that Elo has grown. Vagrant has leveled up. Miltus, of course. Beyond the Silver. Yes. Ah, and Sauerkai can now, of course, colonize the lava planet. It seems you gotta know what this life form is. We turns to colonize. Now we'll do that after the Graviton shielded, because that gives us a lot of science. And Drovian, of course, can colonize its desert planet, the low gravity. Which gives it super production. And we'll get that up in two turns. And, as I said, this has a lot of hot... A lot of sales, so that's a lot of production that will come out of this system. Like a freak ton of lot, so let's get that really quick. So that's what, 
10 production. Well, that's 5 for each. That's 20 production coming out of this planet. Now, 5 and 10. So, that's already 20 production. From just this. Increase of more. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 production. Coming from Jorvian 3. Another 60. 120. 180 production. Whew. Like, seriously, dog. That's nice. Of course, this will be a lot of production. We don't need the food, actually. So we can go that way. Then food will be helpful later on when we get go for these two. Oh no, let's not build some more hawks at the moment. Ooh, this ain't a vine ship. That's fine. Our fleet is moving, moving. I right, you're stuck out there. But we'll actually hand you back. We have our probes going out. Ooh, pirates. I think everyone's moved. Drove in. That helped. Ooh. So much food. So much production. A lot of science. A lot of science, actually. So, ALA will increase its... Oh, no production coming from Dwarvian 5, but all... Every, all blah, 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 English. Production from everyone else. And I think we're set for tonight. Food's coming in. 41 key. You guys are at 34, but that will change really soon, because you have three food groups coming in. Now we have food going to, uh, long way to go. Long way to go until we get to Uslo. We do have population switching out. Draco evolve while you're, oh, you can actually build uh, the science. So I'll have you do that. Air labor will actually be useful. And actually, yeah, productive logistics, now that we have an influx of titanium, getting that up will be useful. I should go productive logistics first because it's just straight 20, 40, 60. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, don't forget, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, show your love for the channel, as well as if you comment, a system, because we do have a few, will be named after you. Until then, hope everyone's enjoying. Till next time, later, alligators.